Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! That's me. Boom, 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 boom! Review stuff. And today, I am going to review a new Frappuccino that I didn't even know exists. It is the Andes Mint Frappuccino. If you watched my video yesterday, Josh the Barista, <laughs> who needs his own channel, told me that it is his favorite Frappuccino, secret menu Frappuccino. So we're gonna go through, or I'm gonna go through, and you're gonna watch, and I'm gonna order it. He also told me that they had the color changing cups. Now, I've had a couple people tell me that they are sending them to me, so I'm gonna purchase these and then do a giveaway when I do my review of the color changing cups, which I'm very excited about. Okay, so I'm also gonna get my coffee because it's 412 and I haven't had it yet. Okay. Thanks for coming to Starbucks. What are we making for you? Can I get a venti iced coffee with one equal, please? Hi, Peter. Hey, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. What else are we making for you? Okay, and then I need to get a grande, grande, yeah. <laughs> a grande, <laughs> matcha green tea frappuccino made with heavy cream. Okay. I need to ask for peppermint instead of classic syrup. Okay. And ask for frappuccino chips. Perfect. This is supposedly Josh's favorite secret menu frappuccino. Hello, you're okay. Good. <laughs> and do you guys have the color changing cups? We do. Do you want to buy a box? I would love to buy a box. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright, we'll have each other at the window. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, is it a good day all around? The color changing cups and everything. So I'm gonna do a review. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it over here because this is kind of a big deal. Like you really think you're kind of a big deal, don't you? Um, I haven't decided yet, it is so hot. It is currently 88 degrees in Indianapolis and I just went and I drove by my pool in my neighborhood and the pool is open finally. I can't believe it. It's been it's taken so long for it to get open. But anyway, um, there's like nobody up there. There's like two parents with two little kids and that's it. And I'm like, I could have been at the pool all day today. <laughs> I could have been at the pool all day today. But I wasn't. <laughs> I was sleeping. I was actually sleeping instead. So I wonder if my cousin Caroline's back from her camping trip. It was so funny because so many people yesterday commented on my camping story. And then somebody was like, they're glamping. When people tell me that they go glamping, and then like somebody said, I don't know who it was, but they said, oh, we had air mattresses and the whole thing. Glamping to me is a hotel like a very nice hotel <laughs> that's what i would call glamping glamping to me would be like a very nice hotel but in maybe some place you didn't want to go <laughs> you know what i mean like if you had to uh, go on a business trip to tell city indiana and they just happened to have a four seasons or a ritz carlton there which would never be the case but let's just say if they did you know or a real cute bed and breakfast i could do a real cute bed and breakfast too my husband and i a couple years ago he had a business trip in Connecticut, and we went to, I can't remember what the town is called, it's right outside of Mystic, and um, it's, that's what they told us at least. It had like the oldest restaurant in the United States, and we went there and we stayed in this bed and breakfast. Oh my God, it was so fantastic. I actually was YouTubing at the time because I did some Peterisms videos over there, but I don't think I had my review channel then. We weren't that, oh, I trimmed my beard and everything because I know you guys like a clean, uh, clean cut host when you come over here. Family friendly, clean cut host. Okay. Hi, hey Sam, how are you? How are you? Good. Okay, it's gonna be 16 to 82. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea how long I've waited for these. <gasps> I'm gonna hide these for a second. It might have you swipe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Sure. Thank you. Where's my wallet? I just had it. Where did I put it? I didn't hand you my wallet by accident, did I? No. I'm such a <laughs> I know that's a stupid question, but I'm a stupid person. Okay. You have them right in the window and everything. I don't need this, but thank you. Oh, I guess I do for the frappuccino? Yeah. Okay, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Are you hot? Yeah. It's so hot. We're supposed to have the fan to keep the bugs out, but we can't hear people if we have it on. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I, I would turn the fan on and just act like I heard them. Bye, thank you. Bye. Thanks, guys. 
It is so hot. I can't imagine working in that window with all the heat. No, ma'am. No, thank you. Okay. My, ba my bank thinks it's so funny because I like balance my checkbook like down to the penny and then I pad my account too because my dad taught me to do that when I was like 18. God knows how much money I have in there. <laughs> that sounded like Alice Ghostly from To Kill a Mockingbird. God knows what he's doing in there. <laughs> what he's doing or thinking. That's what she says about Boo Radley and I named my dog Boo Radley. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh, you can see me kind of perfectly out here, can't you? All right, let me get my stuff all organized real quick. So anyway, yeah, I don't like to, I don't like to camp. There's nothing about it to me that I think is appealing, not one bit. But anyway, <sighs> I'm so excited. Let me um here. What I need to figure out my coffee first. Do you guys like to camp? Do you think it's I think it's just I think it's the most horrific thing in the entire world. <laughs> I mean, maybe I could do, I, well, first of all, I would be scared to death because, of course, you know, I think about serial killers coming to get me all the time because I have a true crime book club. It's called a true crime book club. You should come join it. The link is right below. My good Judy Mel and I run it. She did a live stream this morning. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'd always think about serial killers coming to get me or something, and I'd be like, okay, I don't need to be out here in the wilderness and serial killers coming to get me. If you've read enough of those books, you know that's where they go. So anyway, oh my God, look at these. Okay, so these are the color changing cups. Oh my God, just add ice to conjure up a different color. Tomato goes to uh, aubergine. Peach goes to hot pink. Marigold goes to tangerine. And sea goes to ocean. And there's five cups in here. And cobalt goes to deep purple. We are going to review these. I'm so excited. I'm waiting kind of until, cause like a couple people said that they got them and they sent them to me, which I think is so nice. And listen, I can have 15 of them because I actually, these plastic cups that are clear, I use them for water all day long. So, okay, let's get this going. So excited about this. Do you guys like Andy's Mint? Speaking of hotels, when I was a little kid, they don't do this anymore. The turn down service with mints and hotels. Do you remember that? I used to love that so much. And when I was a little kid, um, we would go to Chicago over like during Christmas time because my dad had this business meeting up there. And so I would go and then on our pillow at night, they would put those Frango mints. Oh my God, I love those Frango mints so much. From our, well, that back in the day, they were from Marshall Fields, but I don't think Marshall Fields exists anymore. I think it's called Macy's now or something like that. But anyway, um, you can get Frango Mints anywhere. About a year ago, I was telling this story on my vlog, and about a year ago, um, somebody sent me an entire, they come in these long rectangle boxes, and I told the story that I'm gonna tell you in just a second. So, somebody sent me a whole box of these Frango Mints. They literally lasted about three days. The mints are like little rectangles. Oh my God, that's almost perfect right there is what they look like. <laughs> no, oh my God, I'm almost a professional. But anyway, um, so we were in Chicago. I feel like I've told this story 15 times over here, but it doesn't matter. So we were in Chicago for my mom's 60th birthday. And it was my cousin Caroline and I, she organized the whole trip. And we stayed at the W in Chicago, which is absolutely fantastic, the, the Lakeshore one. And uh, when we got there, my mom and my aunt were like, uh, they, they didn't know what to think because it's real like artsy and different and you know, it's very cool, it's very cool. And that one was one of the very first W, so it was extremely cool and different. Anyway. My cousin was sitting at the bar, true story. I should not even tell the story but on camera, but I have to, I have to. But her son watches this, uh, I have to tell it, I have to, because my cousin, she's so good looking. But hey, good looking. My cousin, we were waiting for dinner, or we were going to dinner one night at this Italian restaurant that my mom and my aunt, they ended up getting into this horrible fight over zero property lines, who would even care? My mom, they were talking about some, I don't know, some, some condo or house that my mom was looking at, and they were fighting over zero property lines. That's when you know you're with family, right? When they fight over stuff that just doesn't even matter. But before we went to dinner, my cousin got ready and she had to get out of the room because it was my ex and I, we were having, we were in one room and then it was my mom, my cousin, and my aunt in another room, right? Well, they were driving my mom, they were driving my aunt. My aunt and my mom were fighting and they were driving my cousin Caroline crazy. So she went down to the bar and had a little drink before you get started, right, for the night because she was like, I need something. She got hit on by a couple. I say, Caroline. She goes, well, I didn't do anything. And I said, to each his own, okay, different strokes for different folks. I said, did they have enough, did they have any money though? And she looked at me and she goes, what are you talking about? I said, well, maybe they were rich, Caroline. You don't ever know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Always looking for an upgrade. Okay, so listen, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But anyway, so 
What was I telling that trick for? Oh, that, not oh, that, not that trick, that joke. What was I telling that joke for? So when we were in Chicago, we were going to the Lincoln Park. Uh, Caroline had to go to the Crate and Barrel Lincoln Park outlet. It was stupid. Nothing was cheaper. Anyway, but on the way there, we were in the cab, and I had this before Ubers, and I had gotten a box of the Frango Mints, and so I said to everybody, "Does everybody want one?" Well, Caroline was sitting in the front because there's too many of us in the the tax cab seat. So anyway. So she turns around, she's like, I'll have one, everybody has one, right? So like five, 10 minutes later, I'm like, I wanted another one, I wanted half the box, to be quite frank. So I said, uh, do you ever wonder who Frank is when people say to be quite frank? I always wonder who Frank is, why it's not to be quite Judy or something like that, you know? But anyway, so I said, does anybody want another Frango Mint? And my cousin Caroline, she goes, oh, I'll have one. And my aunt goes, ah, uh ah, -huh. We have each had one and one is enough for everyone. My Lord, she basically called us out as being a bunch of patties. Okay, so let's try this Andy's mint. So I love anything mint. This actually looks good. Now, I love the matcha, you know that. But if Josh told me this tastes just like an Andy's mint and it doesn't, and he goes, you know, if you watch it yesterday, he goes, you know I don't like matcha. I said, but do you like chai? Because you know he loves chai. This better taste like an a, a Andy's mint straight up or I'm gonna let him have it. Okay. It tastes like matcha. <laughs> I mean, it really. But I love matcha. It's good. Oh, wait. You gotta kind of mix it together. If you don't like matcha, you're not gonna like this drink. I don't know why he likes this drink. Oh. Oh my God. If you mix it together really, really well, Oh, it does taste like an Andy's mint. <gasps> like when you, right when you bite into the middle of it, that is so weird. Oh my God, it does. I just spit, it. who cares? Anyway, <laughs> I'm in my car by myself. That is so good. You guys, it tastes exactly like an Andy's mint. That is crazy, and I'm not just saying it because uh, Josh is my good barista. He's my good Judy barista. I mean, if it sucked, I would say it sucked. That is so good. I cannot even believe it. It tastes just like an Andy's mint, like right when you bite into it. Well, I'm giving this a five out of five, and I'm giving Sam a five out of five. I'm giving Josh a five out of five and I'm giving all of them a five out of five for the cups, mostly. But anyway, go check this out. It's really good. If you like Andy's mints, oh my God. But you have to stir it up really, really well. Yeah, at first it just tasted like matcha, but now it really does taste like a mint. That's crazy. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.